Hey guys. Okay, so I woke up a little bit ago and Becky's gifts that she got me for my birthday have finally came in. So I'll show you what she got me, which everything, I'm super appreciative because it's stuff that I've actually wanted, so you'll see. And I also got something in the mail that I also want to show you guys. Super exciting, and I'm pumped for it. Smoothie time. I am so hungry. Beware of the sound. Voila. You guys are some thirsty motherfuckers, man. Same. Dang, this tastes good today. So I wanted to show you what Becky got me for my birthday. They're all movies, but me and her are like on a movie kick where we really enjoy watching movies together. It's super fun to do. It's an easy way to save money if you want to do like a date night, but it could be like at home. So I really like the Ice Age movies and I have the last three of them, but I didn't have Ice Age or Ice Age Meltdown. So she got me both of those. I really adore Christina Ritchie. So she got me Around the Block, which I've actually never seen before. I also am maybe possibly just slightly obsessed with Blake Lively. So she got me Elvis and Annabelle. I've actually never even heard of this movie, so I am really excited to watch that. Some of my favorite movies that I watched when I was a little girl is Look Who's Talking, Look Who's Talking 2, and Look Who's Talking Now. So she got me Look Who's Talking and Look Who's Talking 2. I have to buy Look Who's Talking Now because she didn't realize there was a third one. So I'm so excited, and she's never seen any of these. The final movie she got me is But I'm a Cheerleader. This is like the greatest movie. I remember when I was a little girl, I actually watched it. When I was a little girl and there was still Blockbuster, my mom and my dad, I mean, I'm talking like I was seven, eight years old. My mom and my dad was like, okay, go into Blockbuster, you know, choose your movie. And this is the movie that I chose. And I thought it was, you know, like about a cheerleader, which, you know, it kind of is. But it was a lesbian movie. And I just thought that was so funny. And I was like super confused as a little girl, like being seven watching that. But ever since then, I was like, oh my God, I love that movie. So... Yay! The thing that I got in the mail for myself, which I'm super, super excited about, and I really hope Becky, you know, does this with me. This is a Leslie Sansone walking DVD. I used to do Leslie Sansone all the time. She's super great. But what these are good for is like, if you want to go walking, but you don't want to leave your house or, you know, anything like that, like really it's like you don't want to leave your house for whatever reason, whether it's too cold or it's raining or... You know, you just don't want to. Some people don't like leaving their houses all the time. This is literally you walking in your home. You can walk for a mile, you can do two miles. She has tons of different versions. I just happen to get the beginner and intermediate because obviously like I am a beginner right now and I don't want to like kill myself. So there's a 20 minute gentle walk and there's a 30 minute brisk walk on this one. And if you're wondering, I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna be doing this today for sure. I am so excited. This is gonna help me get my steps in and it's just gonna, Help with that good old weight loss and that good old heart health. So Becky and I are about to do the Leslie Sansone. I'm actually using my TV. This is the first time I've used my TV since I moved in here. So voila. So the walk was originally like 20 minutes and about 40 seconds, but I stopped at a little over halfway i feel great though just doing half of that got my steps in about like 1200 that was about 1200 steps just for half of that my goal next time i do this is to just do even more i know for a lot of people people are like oh my god 11 minutes is nothing which I agree, it's not. But my heart rate was up. It was like up to 140 and I felt good. It was pretty hard for someone my size, but it was actually a lot of fun too. Becky and I had some workout playlist pumping from her phone. It was really fun. What did you think? It was great. I'm, uh, I'm a little tired, but I probably could have kept going. Do you want to keep going? You don't have to stop because of me. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll keep going. Do your thing, girl. Actually, <clears throat> I'm going to keep going, too. Are you? I am. Okay. Let's do this thing. I need to drink water. Drink that water, girl. I already drank a ton of water today, and I like to switch it up. Like, I just got done with a bottle, and now I'm using my Starbucks and just using our fridge water. <clears throat> we did it. We completed it. I'm actually shocked that I kept going, but it's because of you. Uh, thank you, baby. You're welcome. 
and I'm glad we kept going too because I probably would have felt like crap if we would have, you know, stopped it at 948, so. Angel number one, angel number two. You can tell we have cats that love to play with toys. Look at that. This is probably gonna be so stupid to some people, but so every time that I would buy fresh vegetables like zucchini and broccoli and tomatoes, just whatever, just tons of fresh vegetables, I would never finish them all. I'm that type of person who would buy tons of healthy stuff and then just like never touch it. Or if I did, I'd only touch like a fourth of it. So it would leave me to wasting all this food and I would throw it away and I'd feel guilty and I'd just be like, why do I do this? Because not only am I wasting food, but I'm wasting money. But for the first time ever, I could tell you right now, I have used every single fresh veggie I have bought in the last week. And I'm just like, girl, what? To me, that's just like, it's, it's a new one for me. This is the first time that's ever happened. What I've noticed though with this whole no eating out, cooking at home, cooking every meal type of deal, I've noticed that I have been having to grocery shop just a little bit more because I don't buy in bulk. I don't really want to just in case I do waste things. So, so far, I've had to go shopping twice since the first. I'm actually having to go again today, so I'll show you everything that I got, but a lot of people might think, oh my God, Amberlynn, that's like too much money, like you're spending too much money, but I'm really not because I don't buy a ton at once, and I feel like I'm actually saving money eating healthier. When I would go into my binges or I'd constantly want to eat out, I feel like I was actually spending a lot more money. So I don't mind having a grocery shop, you know, three times a week. And it's not really like I'm buying like a ton. I'm just buying the things for like the next three to four days. I'm going to be honest. This is like one of my least favorite sweaters to wear, but it's freezing outside and I got to go do grocery shopping. It's actually 11 degrees to some people. That's not even that cold, but to me it is. <sighs> You gotta stay warm out there, y'all. I have some stuff I gotta get, and I'll do like a little grocery haul while I'm there. But yeah, this is like, I don't know. I don't like how this looks on me. <laughs> you guys were sitting inside of the mirror, by the way. Okay, you guys, so it is haul time. I got everything in the cart, so this is what I got. We got another thing of eggs for boiled eggs. We got a small thing of milk because Becky wants some milk here and there. I got more of this Pam olive oil spray because I dropped the other one and the top of it where you click to spray it broke. So down here I have two things of chicken breast tenderloins. I have two ground turkeys, two shrimps, bananas, spinach. And I got this veggie tots, it's cauliflower. This is literally just cauliflower tater tots. So I figured I'd give it a go and use this instead of like actual real tater tots, which nothing wrong with those, but I'm just trying to, you know, choose healthier things. Got some more frozen mangoes and got some frozen whole strawberries. Got some cherry tomatoes, pickles, some broccoli slaw. Some coleslaw this isn't actually to make coleslaw this is actually to cook in with like other vegetables and meat two bags of this shredded iceberg lettuce three bell peppers two zucchinis i was very disappointed the zucchinis here does not look good today some asparagus and two things of mushrooms so that is everything that we got time to be honest da ding so we just got home and we were starving so i made dinner we had a taco salad and i totally should have showed you guys but i was so freaking hungry that i just wanted to make it and eat it but what i do is we have tons of lettuce and obviously i just put that on a plate and i cook ground turkey with a half a packet of low sodium taco seasoning and i put bell pepper i put spinach i put tomatoes and I put mushrooms and I use minced garlic and tons of Mrs. Dash seasoning and I just mix that all together and it's super, super great. Adding the vegetables with the ground turkey makes it to where you have more of a volume and not just like a serving of ground turkey. Anyhow, for some reason tonight I'm struggling really bad and I'm just here to be honest. Um, it's day five of my lifestyle change and I just feel like I don't know if I'm being too strict with myself or if I'm just like going through the blues right now, but I am truly struggling 
it's it's frustrating me because all I can think about is chocolate and I want the feeling of like whole wheat bread in my mouth and I want the feeling of like salty chips in my mouth and it's it's frustrating me I have been very strict the last five days and I have never eaten like this in my life even when I did lose the 89 pounds I still didn't eat this healthy and I just am like I don't know uh yesterday I actually ended the day only eating about 1400 calories I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know um, I went on to Instagram and I saw a post from someone I'm truly inspired by. She lost over 300 pounds naturally. That's that's what gets me. Like, people who can lose so much weight, whether it's like through weight loss surgery or just naturally, like, girl, you lost 300 pounds? Wow. So this person really inspires me and she posted this post where she was explaining, it's like I almost, I needed to read it. It was really weird. She was just like, people do all or nothing way too much and that's when you fail. And I'm finding myself wondering, like, am I like going to make myself fail? And it's starting to scare me and I'm trying to have the most positive mind that I can. This is the first time I felt this way in the five days because in the five days I've been so happy and excited about, you know, this weight loss and just to eating healthier. But for some reason tonight I am struggling. And I know like if I saw a nutritionist or if I talked to someone who lost, you know, 300 pounds, they would tell me eat a piece of chocolate. But right now in this moment, I'm like, fuck no, because I feel like that's the worst thing in the world. But then I'm kind of scared. Am I creating like this mentality that I shouldn't be? I don't know. Like I'm, I'm really just trying to express myself to you guys right now. I feel like I'm rambling. So I'm just going to end this vlog. I'm trying to be the, my most honest and raw self with you guys lately. And I really don't want no one to look down on me just for kind of feeling down right now and for feeling like I could eat a whole pint of Ben and Jerry right now, but I'm really not going to. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and by the way, I am way over 6,000 steps for the day, so that means I have walked way more today than I have, so I'm super excited about that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!